All right, we are live now. Uh, namaste, everyone. Uh, good morning and uh, good evening to pretty much everyone uh, for folks who are watching across the globe. Uh, my name is Ashutosh and welcome to Hindi University. Um, as you know, we meet every Sunday, uh, 9 a.m. U.S. Eastern, and we learn various topics in Hindi language. Um, for folks who are not familiar with Hindi language, you can learn more about us by going to our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Hindi University. And um, pretty much, you know, there are several Hindi courses starting from like, you know, Hindi uh, level 101, 102 till 104. And similarly from Hindi level, you know, 201 till like, you know, 204 and pretty advanced level as well. In this class, we pretty much took a, a different approach and we're learning Hindi from very basics. I'm giving you a lot of formulas and structures and you're building more of that, okay? Um, so last week, as you guys, you probably remember, you know, we've been learning about if you were to be in India, you know, or among people who are not familiar with your native language and they're speaking in Hindi, how do you kind of insert, you know, yourself, right? And how do you kind of like, you know, start communicating in Hindi, okay? We learned various structures around I and, you know, and we also learned about, you know, you asking them questions, okay? Uh, in this class, we'll pretty much answer various questions which are starting with where is and it could be anything where is something for the sake of this example and it could be you know think about anything it could be where is the fort or airport or a hospital or a house office okay or as simple as bathroom where is bathroom okay and when people are saying or responding to you in hindi how do you make sense of it okay there are simple ways to say that using simple, like, you know, post position and also answer it using compound post position. In this class, we'll be primarily focusing on compound post position. Before I go into the lot of details um, for folks who are watching um, live on, you know, YouTube, um, you know, uh, I have a very important or a very enthusiastic Hindi learner to introduce you to. His name is Carl, um, you know, his, uh, very, very uh, motivated in, in terms of like, you know, uh, learning Hindi and also visiting a lot of parts in India. He's already visited like 28 states in India. And so for folks who are live on Facebook, you, you may not be able to see him, but I want to quickly introduce you to Carl. And Carl, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey, everybody. So um, I'm new here, obviously. My name is Carl Rakhu. I'm New Zealand. Main ek saal Hindustan, uh, okay. Okay. Hindi Since when are you learning Hindi? Uh, wow. Um, teen do, do teen saal ke liye. Do teen saal se. So you see, like in just two, three years, he's able to speak uh, such a good Hindi. Okay. Uh, Carl, mein aur kuch tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so um, I'll start with like um, my Hindi. So last week I released this video on YouTube of me speaking Hindi. Okay. And um, that that kind of went viral last week, and okay. it's sitting around like seven hundred thousand views. And then it went, then it started going across all of the Indian media, Hindustan Times, Indian Express, nice. and all of this stuff. Um, and so before that. Um, before before I started making these videos, I released this book called The India Survival Guide, and India? basically, it's okay. India Survival Guide. Yeah, and basically, it's a quick start safety guide to help travelers um, travel safely and confidently to India because you know coming here for the first time is quite nerve wracking for foreigners. So um, I wrote a book to kind of ha like hold their hand and introduce them to India. Okay. Um, and yeah, I, I'm just here to learn Hindi like everybody else to improve my Hindi. Okay, very good, very good. India, mein kaha kaha gume ho abhi tak? Uh, where have I been in India? Yeah. So yeah, so I'm I'm trying to visit all 36 states in India. So far, I've been to um, 28, and I'm trying to visit uh, India before partition as well. So Bangladesh and Pakistan. Okay. I've been to Bangladesh now, and I'm going to Pakistan on the next week actually. Okay. Last question, then we'll jump to our class. What keeps you motivated? 
what keeps me motivated is um, being able to use Hindi every day and being able to speak to people, being able to speak to the Dudwala, the Falwala, just the normal everyday people on the street in India. And like just seeing their smiles and seeing how they react to a foreigner speaking Hindi, because that's the last thing they expect. Um, you know, I think language really connects people. And if, if you're living in India, you have to learn the local language if you want to be, if you want to integrate into society here. So yeah, yeah it helped me have a good life in India. Okay. Well, we're very inspiring. Thank you so much for taking time and talking about your project, India Survival Guide. For folks who are, you know, completely new to India. And if you feel like, you know, um, you look at what, you know, what this book talks about, what Carl has really uh, put together to, to help you, you know, uh, cope up with some of the, the strange situations, you know, you may want to look at it. Uh, so let's just get started. Thank you so much, Carl, again. Um, now we'll jump to the class, as I said. Um, so the focus is going to be where is something, okay? And we'll try to, you know, use the, the, the post positions, compound post positions to answer that, okay? So compound post position. Okay, so let's talk about, so last last class also we, we started with them, but then, you know, we, we thought it would be a good idea to go over pretty much all over them. So in this class, we'll go, gonna cover about eight post positions, compound post position, okay? And they are K pass. Okay. And then the next one is Sedur. You can make a table if you like. And then the second one is Sedur. That's the opposite of K pass. K pass is, um, as some of you are already familiar, K pass is close or close to. Okay. And Sedur is far from. Okay. The other post positions are, are K Pehle K Pehle and the opposite of that is K Badme. Okay. Um, and again, as you some of you already know, K Pehle is before. And uh, K Badme is after. Okay, um, and then four more post positions. Okay, K Bahar and K Under. K Bahar. K Under. Okay, when you say K Bahar, you really you really mean outside. And when you say K Under, it's inside. And last but not the least, uh, two more post positions, K Aage and K Piche. And K Piche. Okay. K Aage is in front of you or ahead of you. In front. Ahead. And K Piche is behind. Okay, we will still use them in the context of where is something. Okay, so imagine you are in India and you got injured or and you're asking someone, you already know how to ask them question in Hindi. Hospital kaha hai? Okay, now you were able to communicate that in Hindi. Now you have to also understand how they are responding to you. They can pretty much say hospital city ke bahar hai. Okay. Or hospital downtown ke under hai, okay? Or hospital, you know, railway station ke aage hai. Or hospital bus station ke piche hai. There could be many, many possibilities. How do you make sense out of them, right? That's pretty much the focus, okay? So we'll take one compound post position at a time and we'll learn various examples of each of the post positions, okay? So I hope this is clear. Uh, you know, feel free to, as always, like feel free to, you know, ask, um, you know, any questions, you know, throughout the class. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the format that we usually prefer. Okay. So let's start with K pass. By the way, Carl, some of my students are already familiar with your channel and they're responding on Facebook live that they watched your, they watched you speak Hindi. 
and they're pretty sure. <laughs> All right, so let's start with K pass, okay? And um, K pass, and the way you write it in Devanagari, you have a K with K, and you have a P with R, and then S. K pass, okay? K pass is close. Carl, you want to use it in an example? Baharugar uh, Delhi ke paas hai. Repeat it one more time. Baharugar Delhi ke paas hai. So I'm just going to say Gurgaon here. Okay. Gurgaon. Okay. Delhi or Delhi ke paas hai. Okay. Delhi ke paas. Okay. So close to Delhi. It's easier to remember, like, think about the noun that is coming before K pass, and it's easier to remember that way. Okay. Now, this particular thing, Gurgaon, you know, you can say that whatever you're using is it's the, the reference is this, and then the other part is this one. Okay. The same sentence interestingly can be written in this way also. Delhi ke pass. Delhi ke pass Gurgaon hai. Okay, they both are exactly same. You don't have to get confused with the uh, that you know if the, the meaning changes. It's both of them are, are 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 same. Okay, so the easiest way, as I said, is to remember the trick. Like you know, whenever the K pass is used, you look at the noun that is used before K pass, the compound post position. Okay, and you kind of mentally you you think of it as like close to Delhi. Okay, is Kurga. Similarly, here also close to Delhi is Gurugram. Okay, let's look at more examples. Okay, the next one is um, airport, um, or let's say this one, Garke Pass, Garke Pass playground. Playground hai. This one as well as playground. Garke. Garke pass hai. Okay. I'm gonna take a pause and I'm gonna see if what you guys can you know come up with. So the task is like translate it into English. What are we talking about? So I'm just gonna give you some time and you tell me. What what does it mean? Garke pass playground hai or playground garke pass hai. Okay. Right. So some answers are coming here. Okay, it means as I said, garke pass, like close to your close to house, is playground. Okay, you can also say mere garke pass playground hai. Okay, uh, or similarly here also garke pass close to your house, and then hai is is and then playground. Mere garke pass playground hai, or mere garke pass nadi hai. Okay, what you know Elon mentioned mere garke pass nadi hai. Okay, or she said it a different way. Mera gar nadi ke paas hai. Close to the river is my house. Okay, so let me write down both of them because it's interesting that you know the difference between both of them. Okay, so the mera gar, mera gar is my house. Nadi ke paas hai. Okay, that's one sentence. The other one is Miragar uh, Nadi ke paas hai, and the second one is Gar ke paas or Mere Gar ke paas. Mere Gar ke paas. 
नदी है ओके फिर इज ट्रिप नदी के पास एंड देन घर के पास ओके काली वालो टेक अट एंड टेल मी वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ द सेंटेंसेस रीड द फर्स्ट वन श्योर मेरे घर के पास नो मेरे घर नदी नदी के पास है सो माई हाउस इज नियर नदी या नदी इज मुझे मालूम नहीं है ओके सो नदी इज नथिंग बट अ रिवर Okay. okay. So, Nadi is a river. Okay. So, so this is my house is near the river. Very good, right? My house is near the river. Okay. Now read this one. Mere ghar ke paas nadi hai. And so the difference here is you're using mere ghar because you have ke paas. It's a post position, so that change mere to mere. Mm-hmm. Okay. um and it's saying it's saying my house has a river read it my, like the pass would be mere ghar ke paas yeah so just read this part ghar ke paas in english is ghar ke paas near my house near my house is is a river, a river. very good okay. right so it's a subtle difference right i mean in in a way you know you are saying here that you know close to the river you know is my house okay close to my house is a river okay same similar thing but you i mean the meaning is slightly different though because one here the reference is river here the reference is your house okay so that's why it's always important that you look at ke pass and the the noun that is coming before that because that way you you will not have any confusion here right because you could very well read it as like you know uh you know like you know uh, river is close to my house which is essentially this sentence not the first one okay so mm-hmm. let's look at more examples and then i'm going to ask you guys like you know uh some quizzes there okay so So now we look at um, something that you've seen before. Um, so this one is New Jersey, and I'm just going to write New Jersey as NJ. New Jersey, New York, K, pass, hai. Okay, New Jersey, New York, K, pass, hai, and similarly, kitab. Kitab is nothing but a book. Okay, kitab. मेज के पास है ओके आई एम गोना टेक यू नो आई गोना गिव यू सम टाइम हियर टू ट्रांसलेट एंड कॉल यू कैन ऑल्सो टाइप इट ऑन द ग्रुप चैट सो आई कैन रीड योर यू नो ट्रांसलेशन आई एम गोना सी वॉट फोक्स आर राइटिंग ऑन द यू नो ऑन द ऑन द फेसबुक साइड ओके शरीन वेरी गुड Okay, so the I'm getting some answers here. The first one is, uh, you know, first one is like you know, uh, New Jersey is close to New York. Okay, and the second one is book is close to the, uh, to the desk or the you know table. Okay, very good. Or near. That's that's correct, right? So. let's move on um so so far i think this this part is hopefully clear to everyone how to use ke pass okay so again going back to the same analogy if you're asking someone question some someone this questions like where is this where is the restaurant or where is the restroom and they are telling you restroom is you know um, restaurant ke paas hai okay you will not have you should not have any difficulty there you should be able to decipher that they're saying it's close to the a uh, restaurant or like you know it's near the restaurant okay uh, let's move on so the opposite of ke pass is as i said se dur okay se dur 
Sedu. And the way you write it in Devanagari, you have a sa, okay, with a, okay, you with the, with u, and then r, se dur. And it means far from. Okay. Uh, Carl, you want to give some examples of how to use se dur? Yeah, sure. Ladakh, Kerala, se dur hai. Okay. So, Ladakh, Kerala, se dur hai. What does it mean? It means Ladakh is far from Kerala. So Ladakh's at the very top of India, Kerala is at the very bottom. Okay, very good. Now, if I were to write, you know, same thing, Kerala, hmm. Ladakh, I hope I'm spelling it correctly. Huh? Se <laughs> dur hai. How does it change the, the meaning? You, you, you flip it around so it's like um, Kerala is far from Ladakh. Very good, right? Kerala is far from the Ladakh, right? The, 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 the place. Okay, awesome. Uh, keep going. You want to give more examples? Yeah, sure. Um, Meragar, Uskagar, um, no, Meragar, huh? Apkagar, Se Dorhe. Very good. My right? house, far from your house. Yeah. So, Meragar. Miragar is my house. By the way, we, I mean, as a group, we have not really gone through, in the new class, we have not gone through this pronoun yet, Mera, so don't get intimidated. When you say Mera, it's like, you know, uh, mine, okay, or my house in this case. Miragar, aapke gar, aapka gar is your house, but when you put a post position after that, Aapka hmm. changes to aapke. Aapke ghar se, se dur. This is very hard to remember for an English speaker. This yeah, post position changing thing. Is. Yeah, so that's why, you know, Hindi is considered like the most inflected language because things change all the time in Hindi as opposed to English because, you know, in English, you know, you know, his, basically, you know, she sing, she he sings versus she, she sings, right? It doesn't change. I mean, it's both basically for both of them, you know, uh, it sings. Whereas in Hindi, it changes based on who is saying it and based on the gender, based on the adjectives, everything, it's basically inflected, right? So that this is a little bit of a challenging thing, but at the same time, you know, there are some benefits of it as well. And we will be covering it, you know, in the subsequent classes. <laughs> But you are absolutely right. This is an important thing to to remember that whenever there is a post position after your you know the phrase that you wrote here, aapka ghar, aapka becomes aapke. Okay, so mera ghar aapke ghar se dur hai. Perfect. You want to give more examples of how to use say dur? You go for it. I'm done. <laughs> are you done? Okay. So I'm gonna write it down, right? So uh, now that it's like you know California. Same thing I wrote before. Earlier we wrote New Jersey, right? So California, New York, say, dur, hai. Okay? California is far from New York. Okay? Again, the reference is New York. Okay? Um, similarly, right? I mean, you can say hospital, yaha is here. Okay? Yaha se dur hai. Okay. Yaha is nothing but here. The reference is wherever you are. Okay. Um, yaha. So hospital is far from here. Imagine you when you're speaking with someone and both of you are you know in the same location and you, and the person is telling you that the hospital is far from here, they will be saying hospital yaha se dur hai. Okay. What about using nahi? Okay, that's fine, right? So you can do the same thing. Hospital. Yaha. Se. Dur. Nahi. Hai. Okay. All you have done is you just put in the, the, the negative part here. Nahi. Okay. So 
यहां से दूर इज फार फ्रॉम हियर नहीं इज नॉट ओके हॉस्पिटल इज नॉट फार फ्रॉम हियर सो दिस अनदर वे ऑफ सेइंग इज लाइक हॉस्पिटल इज इज नियर बाय यू नो और क्लोज टू यू नो वेयर यू आर ओके दैट्स अनदर वे ऑफ सेइंग इट बट इट्स इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू यू नो दिस पार्ट एज़ वेल ओके हॉस्पिटल यहां से दूर नहीं है ऑल दो व्हेन समबडी सेइंग इट कैलिफोर्निया और न्यूयॉर्क से दूर नहीं है it it really depends on the context like whether you are comparing this versus like you know earth and moon right i mean in that context it is definitely closer but uh, i hope that makes sense okay so let me see if other people you are able to write some examples using say dur okay so elan she has written mera vidyalay yahan se dur nahi hai that's a very correct sentence um, and uh, good job writing it in devnagari elan uh, mera vidyalay yahan se dur nahi hai and let me read more of what you have written okay so folks for who are watching live on on facebook feel free to write your your examples i would like to go through all of them and uh, if there is something i'm going to uh, i'm going to give you suggestions as well there okay um so we'll keep going i hope both of the the the, the first two uh, compound post positions we looked at k pass and se dur are are clear okay um and we'll keep going and uh, we'll look at the the next one which is k pehle and k baad mein <clears throat> k pehle and k baad mein and the key is as i'm writing it and i'm giving more examples i want you to to practice at the same time that's the that's the best way to 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 learn otherwise otherwise you will forget the chances are after today's class you know you may not get a chance to watch the video again and so the the those chances dramatically drop so it's better we practice while we are in the class together okay um i'll tell you one more trick to to you know keep to to remember ke pass and se dur uh, the the earlier one right i mean so my mom she is she is pretty funny in this case right whenever you know she wants me to go to a particular place right she'll make a case you know pass here like you know, for example you know she wants me to buy something like a grocery or something and i don't feel like it you know she'll make it a case that you know grocery store at the pass hai okay or uh, such and such place like you know is relative ka ghar you know mossi ka ghar pass hai you know and uh, even though i don't want to go to but she will force me and then you know she'll use this phrase like k pass similarly say dur like you know the places i want to visit where my mom doesn't want me to visit right such as let's say ranthambore i wanted to go to safa animal safari okay her point is like ranthambore bahut dur hai or like from my town like you know she'll say run from bor yahan se dur hai okay even though it is not but you know it's just it's just a trick to to kind of remember it right i mean how to kind of uh, use those two compound post position okay so so the next two are, as i said is k pehle and k baad mein so i have k pehle i'm going to just write both of them together so you can see them k baad mein okay k pehle and k baad mein um it's before and after so i'm going to give you some examples and then i'm going to ask you guys to um you know to to give me what your thought process is okay um so let's say you are making some plans with your friends okay and the, you want to say something like you know we will do this before the movie okay so you can say movie ke pehle okay before the movie okay uh you can say you know let's meet before the movie starts movie ke pehle milte hain okay or you can say movie ke baad mein milte hain let's 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 meet after the movie is done okay और स्कूल के बाद मिलते हैं स्कूल के बाद एंड दिस इज टिपिकली लाइक इन ऑल द फ्रेंड्स दे मीट आफ्टर द स्कूल राइट सो लेट्स लेट्स मीट आफ्टर द स्कूल स्कूल के बाद मिलते हैं ओके तीन बजे के पहले तीन बजे के पहले एंड आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग तीन बजे एज एन एग्जांपल ओके यू आर समवन लाइक व्हेन आर यू फ्री like you know what time is what's your availability and they responded 3 baje ke pehle what does it mean like i'm free before 3 o'clock okay 
बट मैं तीन बजे के पहले फ्री हूं लेकिन पांच बजे के बाद पांच बजे के बाद बिजी हूं ओके आई एम फ्री बिफोर थ्री पी एम बट आई एम बिजी आफ्टर फाइव पी एम ओके पांच बजे के बाद ओके लेट्स लुक एट मोर एग्जांपल्स नंबर थ्री के पहले नंबर टू है ओके तीन के पहले रिमेंबर दस की रेफरेंस इज थ्री अदरवाइज यू विल गेट कंफ्यूज वाई वी आर राइटिंग इट इन दिस वे बिकॉज इन इंग्लिश यू विल इंटली थिंक दैट यू नो द नंबर थ्री शुड बी रिवर्स्ड बट द रेफरेंस इज थ्री थ्री के पहले बिफोर थ्री इट्स टू ओके सिमिलरली तीन के बाद चार है और फोर है ओके आफ्टर थ्री इज फोर ओके आपके पहले आप एंड देन के यू नो आप इज यू नो यू एंड देन यू यूजिंग पोस्ट पोजिशन आफ्टर दैट आपके पहले मैं हूं ओके आई केम बिफोर यू और आई एम बिफोर यू ओके कार्ल यू कैन टॉक मोर अबाउट इट लाइक प्री मच इन इंडिया यू प्रॉब्लम सी इन द्यूइंग सिस्टम राइट आई मीन देर इज ऑलवेज अ फाइट अबाउट हु केम बिफोर यू राइट नो क्यू इन इंडिया राइट सो एंड इवन इफ देर वर अव लाइक इट्स ऑलवेज लाइक यू नो आई केम बिफोर यू आपके पहले मैं हूँ So you should definitely, you should definitely memorize this part. You know, if you want to to win or if you want to you know, assert yourself in India or in any queue or in any restaurant or anywhere where there's an appointment. If you want to say, "Aapke pehle main hoon" or "Main aaya," that means you know I came before you. Okay. So I hope these examples give you, you know, a little bit of an idea about how to use "ke pehle" and "ke baad mein." Uh, I want to take a break here, and I want to see what you guys can right now. Okay, uh, Carl, you want to use some, and then and after that, I'll walk around the room, and I'm going to see what other people wrote. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah. Um, Amritsar Wagga border ke pehle hai. Okay, Amritsar the Amritsar is before the Wagga border. Okay. Or dope hai ka khana nashta ke baad me hai. Okay. Just okay. ke baad hai. Okay, so it's it may be a little bit like more challenging for folks. Dopahar is afternoon. Okay, um, so the meal of afternoon is af you know it's after basically breakfast. Okay, okay, keep going. That's all I've written so far. That's all. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's see what other people can can come up with. Uh, we have a lot of people watching, and I want to okay. So Shirin is Shirin is you know she has written. क्लास के बाद जाते हैं लेट्स गो आफ्टर द क्लास ओके एंड शी इज आल्सो रिटर्न क्लास के पहले कहीं नहीं जाते हैं लेट्स नॉट गो एनीवेयर बिफोर द क्लास ओके बोथ ऑफ देम आर एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट वी हैव मोर पीपल वाचिंग सो आई एम रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन सीइंग व्हाट यू नो व्हाट यू कैन थिंक ऑफ एंड डोंट बी अफ्रेड टू टू मेक एनी मिस्टेक्स राइट आई मीन द की टू लर्न एनीथिंग नॉट जस्ट लैंग्वेज इज टू टू मेक मिस्टेक्स right and then only you will be able to you know to learn something and to make it better right um call you want to to talk a little bit about your experience about making mistakes like because yeah, i'm sure that, that's the only way i learn like um people laugh at me all the time and they laugh at my hindi and in a nice way because of some of the things i say but when they're laughing i know i can ask them you know what did i say wrong and they'll they'll kind of correct me so it's mm. yeah that's fun Yeah, yeah. So that's so you see, that's the key. Like you make mistakes and you learn from it. And uh, you know, the sooner you get used to this, you know, practicing this part, you know, you will use it for your advantage. The thing is, like nobody will, you know, um, let me correct it. Like you know, the expectations are not that you know you will be writing it in Devanagari from the from the get go. Okay. For example, if I'm speaking French, I'm assuming that you know they, you know, folks will not expect me to just use the French words like you know. in a 100% accurate manner in the same pronunciation right as a native french speaker right so they will play along they will help me right? and that's how i will learn 
Right. So let's keep going. Uh, and as I get more examples, I'm going to read them. But this is number three and number four. Now I'm going to go over the next two um, post positions or compound post positions. Okay. So now I have K Bahar and K Under. So that's basically number five and number six. Okay. K Bahar or K Under. K Bahar and K Under. Okay. Uh, when you say K Bahar, it's outside. Okay. K Under is inside. Okay. Again, let me go back to the, the, the same analogy I gave that really motivated me to write the entire class or to, to prepare this lesson. Okay, you are again asking someone like where is the airport or where is the, the library or the grocery store? Okay, and they responded to you in Hindi. Okay, and they can say airport. Airport. Sheher. Sheher ke bahar hai. Sheher is nothing but a city. Okay, Sheher ke bahar. Okay, outside the city or outside the shahar. Okay, hai is is an airport. Airport, airport is outside the city. That's another way to look at it, right? As I said before, Hindi it's an SOV language. You have a subject, object, and verb, as opposed to English, where which is SVO. You have a subject, verb, and object. Okay, Hindi it's there is an also an agility. Okay, even though it's an SOV language. You can still kind of twist around and use it in the way you want. To, to give you an example, you know, um, which is also a question came from my student. I can say Mera naam Ashutosh hai or Mera naam Ashu hai. Okay. I can also say Naam hai Mera Ashu. Okay. Which also means like in a different way of saying it, like, you know, my name is Ashu. Okay. Uh, so there is an agility to it. Coming back to, to, to the analogy here, like, you know, in English, you will say airport is um, outside the, the city. Okay. Um, so you can see airport is, which is your verb, outside the city. Okay. And Hindi is S, subject, object, and verb. So verb is coming towards the end, and airport, which is your subject, is coming at the beginning, and then Shahar ke Bahar. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Let's look at more examples so that way it's a crystal clear to, to all of you. Okay. Um, bathroom station ke bahar hai. Bathroom station ke bahar hai. Very common thing, right? I mean, that's a, even as a foreigner, if I'm going to any country or any city, and if I am looking for a restroom or a bathroom, um, natural question, like I'm gonna ask, like, where is the bathroom? And if they say bathroom is outside the station, you know, it will be easier for me to kind of remember from there. Okay, station ke bahar hai. Okay, bathroom station ke bahar hai. Opposite would be, you know, you can say airport. Airport, shahar ke andar hai. Shahar ke under hai. Okay. You probably have seen like a lot of, you know, airports are within the city as opposed to outside, right? So airport shahar ke under hai or as well as bathroom station ke under hai. Okay. Bathroom is inside the station. Okay. Um, let me write them down in, in Devanagari also because I know a lot of you are interested in that, right? So K Bahar, you will have a K with A <clears throat> and you have a Bahar. B with A, H, then the K Bahar. Okay. And then K and the, you have a K with A, K. 
हाफ न द एंड र के अंदर ओके के अंदर ओके आई एम गोइंग टू गिव मोर एग्जांपल्स एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन इट अप फॉर योर पार्टिसिपेशन बिकॉज़ आई वांट टू सी मोर वर्क फ्रॉम यू राइट आई वांट आई वांट टू डू लेस वर्क um so let me give you more examples here okay mona erase it okay so the the more examples are um bacche bacche school ke अंदर है ओके बच्चे नथिंग बट चिल्ड्रन ओके स्कूल यू ऑलरेडी नो स्कूल के अंदर है किड्स आर और चिल्ड्रन आर इन साइड दी स्कूल ओके एज अपोज टू दिस वन एम्प्लॉज एम्प्लॉज ऑफिस के बाहर है एम्प्लॉज आर आउटसाइड दी ऑफिस और यू नो एंड यू कैन प्रॉब्लम एड्रेस टू इट कॉल प्रोटेस्टर्स प्रोटेस्टर्स आर प्रोटेस्टर्स ऑफिस और हम गोना से गवर्नमेंट ऑफिस के बाहर है राइट Well, you can probably attest to it. There's always like something, one thing or other thing is going on in India, right? Yeah, like just just one month ago, um, when I was in Chandigarh, Ram Rahim was doing a was having a massive protest outside the court, and just thousands of his followers came to the court. Okay. And it was. Mayhem. So, so the sentence would be protesters go a court ke bahar hai, right? That's uh, that's pretty much how you <laughs> you will use it, right? and if somebody saying it you will make sense of it that you know that's what they are trying to say so i hope those examples are useful you want to give some examples call before i go around the room and see what other people are mere ghar ke bahar kutte hain mere ghar ke bahar kutte hain dogs are outside my house okay hamesha hamesha okay <laughs> okay so india has a the problem of stray animals right there's a lot of you know stray animals there okay you want to give what this one ke andar yeah i'm not sure if this sentence is right but i'll say it um mere ghar ke andar apne parivar hain okay um so um you i think i think you're trying to say um you're trying to say that you know um, i live with my family is that what you're trying to say in like that? inside my house uh I, is my family i'm a family okay um ghar ke andar family hai okay meri family ghar ke andar hai okay okay um but yeah i i see you your your point there okay let's see what you know shireen and other people are saying okay kitab bag ke andar hai it's a pretty good example book is inside the the bag bag ke andar right that's inside the bag okay औरत कार के बाहर चली गई सो वन शी लेफ्ट दी दी कार ओके ओके कौसम मकान के बाहर पहाड़ है ओके वेरी गुड और ओके आई थिंक दिस वन मोर एग्जांपल यू लर्न यू रिटर्न पेड़ के पहले मेरी दुकान है आई थिंक यू वांट टू से पेड प्रॉब्ली ओके um that my my shop is before you know something that's a, that's a correct example okay nahane ke baad sone jaungi that i'll go to sleep after taking a shower or after taking a bath all correct examples okay um and then one more example that you written ilan is darwaze ke bahar gali hai uh, the street or the alley is outside my or the door okay darwaze ke bahar gali hai a very good job writing in devnagari script ilan so proud uh, okay so that's number 5 and 6 okay now we'll we'll do the last two k aage and k piche okay which is basically your 
and your eight. And hopefully, and that's, that's really my hope, like after the end of this class, uh, you know, you will be able to successfully use, you know, the eight post positions, compound post positions. And even if you make mistakes, to me, I think it's a, it's a win-win situation because I want you to make mistakes using these, you know, compound post positions. Okay, so the next one, as I said, is K Aage and K Piche. K Aage and K Piche. Sometimes you hear K Samne also. So there's a subtle difference between K Aage and K Samne. Uh, we can cover it in the examples. Okay. K Aage and K Piche. Uh, now, how do you write it in Devanagari? Okay, K Aage. You have a K with A and Aage. K Aage. Okay. And the next one is K Piche. Okay. Piche. So you have P with E and then Ch with A. K Piche. Okay, so it's a K Aage is in front of, in front of or ahead of. K Piche is behind. Okay, behind. Okay, K Aage and K Piche. Now, it's very interesting how you use it, right? So you want to say Kar Ke Aage. बस है, ओके, कार के आगे बस है, so ahead of the car or in front of the car is there is a bus, okay, okay, it's a very common thing like let's say there is a the traffic scenario there where you know there's a lot of vehicle you know jammed jammed up right, I mean so if you want to say that you know why car is not moving Okay, kyoki car ke aage bus hai. It's not moving because there's a bus next to it or ahead of the car. Okay, car ke aage bus hai. Okay, um, that's one example. I want to give more examples here. Uh, car ke similarly, right? I mean, ghar ke aage, ghar ke aage kua hai. And kua is nothing but a well. Ghar ke aage kua hai. Well, you can say well hai or you can even say hand pump hai, which is very common thing even in some parts of India. Ghar ke aage hand pump hai. Okay. Uh, ahead of the house or in front of the house, there is a, uh, there is a hand pump or kua or well. Okay. Those are some of the examples for ke aage. And I want to use ke piche. Okay, um, you can say Ghar ke piche garden hai Ghar ke piche garden hai Okay, Ghar ke piche behind the house is a garden Okay, you can make it complicated Mere ghar ke piche a garden hai Okay, for folks who are advanced you can even say मेरे घर के पीछे एक रोज गार्डन है, ओके? मेक इवन मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मेरे घर के पीछे एक नया रोज गार्डन खुला है, यू नो रिसेंटली यू नो अ न्यू रोज गार्डन इज ओपन बिहाइंड माय हाउस, ओके? देर देर इज नो लिमिटेशन ऑफ हाउ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड और हाउ इंटरेस्टिंग यू कैन मेक अ सेंटेंस, बट � Right? That's why there's always a focus on the grammar and the correct use of the, the basics. Okay. Um, building ke piche hospital hai. Building ke piche. Behind the building, there's a hospital. Ke piche hospital. Hospital hai. Okay. And building is nothing in Hindi. It's imarat. Imarat. And the way you write it in Devanagari, you have a E and then Mam with A and then Ra with the Imarat. 
okay imarat okay let me see what other people have written uh, using these two seven and eight uh, compound post position k aage and k piche <laughs> so uh, so that's a little bit controversial right it's a very funny song i mean not funny song but it became like in the late 90s when this song came like and what iran is referring to choli ke piche kya hai right i mean it became like a, <laughs> a very controversial topic okay uh, and i see why you're laughing here okay um what other examples can you give You want to give it a try, Carl? Yeah, sure. Me chartwala ke aage hoon. Me chartwale ke aage hoon. So I am in front of the chart house, or I'm next to him. Okay. Very good. Or mere ghar ke piche bazaar hai. Mere ghar ke piche bazaar hai. Aapke ghar ke piche kaun sa bazaar hai? Sector fourteen bazaar hai. Kaun sa? Sector fourteen. Oh, sector fourteen bazaar hai. Bazaar hai. Okay, very good. Okay, so so I hope you know the whole section of like you know covering different compound compound post position is helpful for you. Um, I hope you know the the you will be able to use all of them. Um, and if you have any questions, like you know, in any of those, you feel free to write it to me. The homework for this class is essentially you you know you take all these eight. compound post positions okay let me write it down so the ask is pretty simple homework is that you write two examples using each each compound post position very simple right each compound post position you writing two examples not only that that's the first homework the second one is you use them in the next week before we meet we will be meeting again next sunday but in that time in the next 7 days right i want you to use them figure out a way to use them with with anyone you are comfortable with okay force yourself it's okay they will correct you if there is a mistake force yourself and use these examples uh, e use these eight compound post position as much as you can okay so when we meet next time you know i'm fairly confident that you even if there is a um, some there's no clarity in any of those like if it is missing you know you'll be able to fix it okay that's pretty much is the ask okay so with that i'm going to finish today's class i'm going to stop the broadcasting on the facebook and i'm going to see if carl has any question on the panel um just for folks who are watching like live on you know facebook if any of you are interested in in, in the interactive session and if you want to join the 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 google hangout but you don't know how to do it you let me know. You write me a message and uh, we'll make sure you become part of it okay so thank you so much everyone bye right. so i'll stop the broadcasting here and uh...